guys, it's Sadie, and this week's videos for both me and Sophia are based on the basics. So in my video, I'm going to show you the four main braids that take part in a lot of the different hairstyles that I'm going to do later on. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to let you in on something new that Sadie's going to do. Go. Okay, so the first braid I'm going to start out with is a regular three-stranded braid. A lot of people do know how to do this already, but it plays a part in a lot of different hairstyles, so I think it's really important basic to know. You're going to start by splitting your hair into three equal sections, like this. And then you're going to take one of the sections, either the right or left, and bring it over the middle section. And then again with the left side, bring it over the middle. So you just take turns bringing each section over the middle. And I like to hold one section in my right hand and then one in my left and use your um, pointer and thumb to hold the one in the middle. Like this. So the next braid we're going to do is a fishtail braid. You're going to separate all your hair into two equal sections, a right and a left. You're going to take a small section from one side, bring it over the section that you took it from, and add it to the other side. And then you're going to alternate and take one from the left, tiny little strand, bring it over the strand you took it from, and add it to the opposite side. You're going to keep doing that, alternating which side you take the hair from, until you get to the end. So the next braid we're going to do is a French braid, but it's not actually going to be like the, your full head of hair, just so I can show you the difference of the stitching between a French braid and a Dutch braid. So for a French braid, it starts out the same as a Dutch braid, but you're going to take a little section of your hair at the top of your head and split it into three sections, three equal sections. And you're going to take, just like a normal three stranded braid, the right section put it over the middle, and then the left section over the middle. Now the difference between this French braid and a normal three stranded braid is you're going to add in pieces of hair each time. So now that you just finished putting the left over the middle, you're going to add some to the right. Take a little piece and add it in to the right strand. Once you've done that, you're going to take all the hair from the right strand, including the piece you just added in, over the middle. Then you're going to do the same with the left. Taking some hair, adding it into the left strand, and then putting all of that over the middle. You're going to continue by alternating each side and adding in hair until you've reached the bottom. to the bottom and you've stopped adding in all the hair from your head, you just continue with a regular three-stranded braid till you reach the end of your hair. The next and last braid I'm going to show you is a Dutch braid. It's also known as like an inverse French braid. So again, you're going to start by taking a little section at the top and separating it into three equal strands. This time, instead of going over with the strands, you're going to go under the middle strand. And then take the left and go under the middle. This braid creates a more 3D effect and can also be used in a lot of different hairstyles. Like the French braid, you're also going to add in pieces as you go along. So you're going to add a piece to the right strand and then go under the middle. And then once you get to the left side, add a tiny piece and go under 
the middle. Again, like with the French braid, once you've finished adding in all the hair, you're just going to do a three-stranded regular braid all the way down to the end. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully those four basic braids will help you with a lot of the other hairstyles on our channel. So don't forget to go check out Sophia's video. I am doing a basic routine on how I would do my makeup if I'm kind of rushing out of the house. Also, this routine is exactly what I do in all my videos for my foundation, concealer, and powder. If you guys have any requests that you'd like to see, please let us know. Also, for the news that we mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, Sadie's actually me creating an Instagram account. Our username for the Instagram account will be in the description below, and it'll be up and running by the time you see this video. So you can check up on us, I guess, on a daily basis and see what our hair and makeup looks like. So yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace out. I, want, I was about to say. Hi. Um, shoulders are like in my way. Do you have anything inside your brain? Okay.